Hi, I'm Amy, author of Gluten-Free Girl, the blog. Today I'm going to be talking about how easy it is to incorporate gluten-free recipes for the crock pot. In the last few years, crock potting has become popular again because it's a cheap and easy way to cook at home. Two of my favorite cookbooks to incorporate gluten-free cooking into the crock pot are the Egg-Free, Milk-Free, Wheat-Free Cookbook and the Complete Idiot's Guide to Slow Cooker Cooking. I found that a lot of typical crock pot recipes happen to be gluten free and you don't have to do much modification. The other book, the gluten free book, I have found that it's really easy to transfer most of those from stovetop cooking or oven baking to the crock pot. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to make black bean and sausage soup casserole type thing. You can vary it to be a cas more like a casserole or soup depending on how much chicken broth you put in. So uh, just keep that in mind. Here's our crock pot. Today I'm going to be using a four quart crock pot. Typically you can uh, feed four to six people, hungry people, with this crock pot. A nice feature about the newer crock pots is that usually they have stoneware that comes out so this can now go on the table to serve your dish in so that saves more time because you don't have to do more dishes. So let's get started. First I'm going to pour two cans of black eyed peas in here. You can use dried beans if you'd like. That's the nice thing about the crock pot. You can use whatever you've got on hand. So I use two cans of black eyed peas. Make sure you rinse them off and if you're using dried beans make sure you soak them overnight first. So there's those. Next we're going to add some vegetables in. First I have two cloves of garlic. Usually I would use three to four but these are quite large so I'm only going to use two today. Put them in the garlic press. Just like that and you can vary how much garlic you put in depending on if your family really likes garlic or not. We love garlic. We never have problems with vampires because of it. Next we're going to put in some carrots and onions. You can also use half carrots and half celery if you'd like. All right. Next we're going to put in chicken broth. I'm going to make mine a little bit soupy so I put in four cups of chicken broth. If you want it a little drier you can go with four. So there's the first two. And here's the last part of it. All right, now we're going to put some seasonings in. This is just an Italian seasoning. I'm going to put it just, just enough in, maybe about one tablespoon. And again, you, after it's been cooking for a few hours, you can taste it and see what else it needs. If it needs more salt, more pepper, more onions, garlic. Here's some fresh ground pepper and some kosher salt. All right, next comes the sausage. I'm using a pork sausage with diced apples. This would be a great meal for a New Year's Day because black eyed peas are good luck. So next you're going to uh, slice the sausage and just put it in there. It's been about seven hours since I last saw you and our meal has been cooking away the whole time. It's starting to smell great and I can't wait to eat it. Some serving suggestions. I suggest you serve it in a big bowl, soup bowl, and if you like some heat, add some Frank's Red Hot or Tabasco to give it a little heat. Maybe some sour cream as well if you're not dairy free as well as gluten free. This has a great well-rounded meal all in itself. You really don't need to add any side dishes to it. It's got lots of protein and vegetables. The nice thing again about crock potting is you can add as many vegetables and different vegetables if you like. Remember we just added carrots but celery, zucchini or corn would be great as well as well as a mixture of those. In addition you might want to add some gluten-free crusty bread if you're feeling very ambitious in the kitchen today. That'll be the time that you saved in the crock pot area. Next we're going to talk to Frank and Amanda, two cooks that love using their crock pot. Frank has been cooking all his life for about 40 or 50 years. Amanda's a young mom that loves the time that crockpot cooking saves her. Let's go talk to them now. Hi, I'm Frank McConnell and my favorite crockpot dish is pot roast. 
Hi, my name is Amanda Munoz, and my favorite thing to cook in the crock pot is homemade beef stew.